Hello friends, welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can add retry logic in our integration to call BI report. So there can be various situations while calling the report uh, server is not working fine or SaaS application is down. So that time we will not be able to call the BI report. So as previously, I have created videos where I have added all the logics for handling the exception for calling the BI report. Now it's time to add the logic to retry, retry logic for calling the BI report. So suppose here, if you will see in this time, if we'll call the BI report, if we got any error while calling the report, our program will be terminated by sending the success message at we got error, right? But what we required is that if we got error while calling the BI report, we required to retry again. Again, how much retry? So whatever value we will pass in the lookup. So right now, if you will see in the lookup, we passed retry count as three. So it means that we require that our integration will retry while calling the report three times. Then after if all the three times they didn't get report call, report data, that time that program will terminate it. At that time, at that kind of logic, we have to add our integration. So let's begin. So before going to a start, I will just want to show you that I have already created videos for BI report call. So you can see that the first video is in which we have called the BI report and send report data over email. In the second video, call the BI report and inserted report data into ATP table. The third one is that placing the report data over SFTP server. And in fourth, we added the lookup from where we are getting all the details like report name, report path, and all these things, right? SFTP server, everything. And the fifth one which we, in which we have added the exception handling logic, right? All these things. Now, if you have not watched previous videos, go and watch so that you can get to know that how we have added all these things and point and all the logic for report calling, right? So let's begin. So here, what I will do, I will make a clone of this integration only. So I will just go for that clone and will call BI report and with, sorry, with retry logic clone so here you can see i have added retry logic count as three so our integration will uh, like make a retry of three times right so suppose for for getting issue while calling the report i am just providing the wrong report name report directory so that it will get error while calling the report and so that it will go for the retry so you can see our integration is cloned now i will open this integration or edit so now here you can see all this point right after getting the report call after getting the report data everything is fine we don't require to do any changes here right because we want to process all this thing on once only right but we want to add logic of retry while calling the bi report it means that while in this scope only so for for retry logic we have retry count that three we have to store that count in variable first so i will use variable here and also we want to add the loops so that's why we required one loop variable so i will create two variables over there so here if you will see what we will do is that here we will create first where retry count from where we will get the retry count we will get retry count from lookup only right so i will use lookup here and you select the lookup and this is the source so source is report code and the target will be the retry count so where is the retry yeah you can see retry count right next and by default, I just want to provide two. Suppose if we didn't provide any recurrent values here, so by default it will retry twice, right? That's why I given the default values as two. Now next and done. Here we have to change this source with the values with the code. So here this is inventory report. So I will use here this one. Now done. So I will get the report retry count from the lookup only. Now we have to create one more variable so that we can track a count of the loop so that we can end the loop. So we will use as loop count and initially loop count will be one right and each and every time whenever loop will execute it will increment the count right so now done validate and close so now here what we have to do is that we have to add this scope in loop right so first we will add the while loop here before the loop i will give the name as retry while create and here we have to uh, retry till our count will be greater than or equals greater than the actual retry count so we have count variable the loop count you can see the loop count we will run this this integration will run until the loop count will be less than or equals to the retry count so we have where is the retry count yeah retry count right so suppose first time we have loop count as one and the retry count is three coming from here 
so here if you will see one is less than three it will be true next time it will move two is less than three it will be fine three is less than three it will be fine next time the count will be four and that time loop will be ended so that's why i have added the logic so now close sorry and now here if you will see inside this loop right inside the while loop we have to add the logic to call the bi report and we have added logic to call the bi report in the scope only so what we will do we will move this scope inside this loop so for moving the scope we have to select reposition and we can directly move so before moving we have to click here collapse and then it will be moved here so now you can see the complete scope move inside the loop only right so here you can see if we will be able to call successfully bi report our control will move here right and if our control will move here it means that we don't require to run the loop again right so what we will do in the time we will increment the loop count to the more than the value of the loop so here we have loop count and we will make loop count as a retry count plus one so that next time it will not go for the run the loop again right so where is we have retry count and we'll make plus one right validate and close validate and done and suppose if we got error while calling the report our control will move here in the fault handler and here fault handler right now we have count as one so here what we will do we will make a loop count as one plus one so here only we will go add the variable of the loop and we'll assign the value of loop count somewhere yeah loop count will be whatever will be the loop count plus one so this is our loop count and we'll add one here so suppose it's first time this loop is executing so what it will do the loop count will be one so next time when we will we'll get error it will increase incremented by one and loop count will be two so now ex next time it will again move to condition we'll check two is less than the actual retry count that is three two is less than three that is perfectly fine again it will move to the block and call the report suppose if we get again error it will move to the block here fault handler it will again increment the value will be three this time again it will check three is less than equals to three true again it will go and check and next time if it will get it again error it will move to the handler again and again the next count will be three plus one that will be four and this time it will be false so here we have successfully added the logic for the retry of the bi report call now suppose we are successfully able to able to run the report call the report and then wow. our loop variable next time the count will be more than the actual values whatever we have in the lookup so now this time loop will be ended and our control will move here so here in this assign we have already added or assigned the report byte in the variable then the rest of the process will be the same right so now if you will see in the ending so suppose if we will will not be able to call the report successfully our the report flag we added that where calling report flag will be n and at the time it will move to the else block and else block here we can see we have error notification even if you will see we can add a different error notification and that error notification we can be add for the retry count and all everything but this time i just want to do not add anything just we'll go and close so just here we will activate the integration and now run this integration so submit here this is the id 20 i will go and check id 20 here so you can see as we provided wrong report id report path it will not call the report it will go for the retry so you can see here you can see program completed successfully and if you will see the log message you can see the begin while retry while how much time it iterate three times because we have added the values three here right so if we will edit let me change to the unlock have instead of three if i will make the five right read crowd count as five so it will retry five times i will explain right just make a changes here now if we'll go and why it's retrying because i have provided the wrong path here we for, we didn't pass that uh, xdo that actual path is dot xdo so it's the wrong path it will not able to call the report so once i will run the integration again it will retry five times as we provided value five in the lookup so if you will see the 21 it's in queue it will take a little bit of time so it's in progress only 
so here you can see it's it's done and you can see I, I iterate how much time fifth time and we it didn't get any any report call so here you can see error report call notification send over the email right and suppose if we forget to pass this one if didn't forget so as you can see in in the integration only i have added the default value as two so it will iterate twice right so here if you will go and sorry run the integration again it should be retried twice because we provided a default retry as two so if i will go and check the log message of 22 you can see that retry twice just wait a file to complete here you can see if you go to the log you can see the iterate method to two iterate twice two times because we didn't provide any value and in while getting the values from the lookup at default we provided two that's why it's, it's run the two times if you will see the log message here inside the log you can see the payload the first time payload is that the count variable is less than the retry count it's evaluated as true that's the true first time one is less than two that's true here you can see it's going to call the bi report it's getting fault in fault handler you can see we updated the variable so we updated the variable as no report call flag no and where lookup count assigned with two next time it will again here you can see the next iteration here iteration two here you can see the values as record is again two two is less than equals to two again it will go and retry and again you can see while getting fault again going for the value as no and it's incrementing the value now next time its value was 3 and the loop terminated right so suppose if we which updated the value if we update the report sorry report path as true now we have report uh, path is true it means it will successfully able to call the report so let me save and if we will run this time integration it will run the integration and it will not go for the retry because everything is fine you can see id is 23 just wait for the completion of the 23 instance id so here it is in progress so now if you will go and check iteration 2 okay again it means that the loop is not activated sorry loop is not sync with the integration so again i am just going to save here now here again i will retry and run the integration again so this is the actual like actual scenarios where we can implement the lookup right because at the runtime if you want to change the value we don't require to go and each and every time edit the edit in the integration here you can see the retry iteration only one times because we got the report data you can see here report call success right a scope a record call success and here we pass the data we place the file over server and what file we placed if you will see so you will see the file write of ftp and here you can see the file name is that 54654 and if you will go to the server and retry you can see 54.64 file placed over server so this is the actual logic where you can implement the retry method so thank you so much for watching if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your colleague and don't forget to like this video thank you so much for watching